This is going to be a pretty simple video. I'm just going to talk about elements that attract me to book covers. I'm not going to lie, I do judge books by their covers. When I'm going to buy the actual physical book, I am very picky about how it looks. So I'm going to talk about some of the elements and some of the things that make me go, ooh, and will make me more likely to go ahead and buy the book. So I talked about this one fairly recently. The Night Circus has some elements that I'm really big on. One of the big things I love is silhouettes. I am obsessed with silhouettes. This one has the silhouettes of the main characters, Marco, Marco and Celia. We've also got stars. I'm big on stars. And we've got the bird in her dress. I love it. To piggyback on that, we've got Shiver and Linger. I haven't read, I haven't read Linger yet. They're basically, you know, kind of it's mostly just blue, but it's different shades of blue, and we've got just the silhouettes of, like, plants and the the wolf hiding out in there. Um, I really love trees and plants silhouettes. They are, they are particularly attractive. And we've got basically the same kind of theme going on here, except we also have a girl added in. This is a book I bought entirely for the cover, Night of Many Dreams. Um... I got this at Borders when it was closing, and I got it because I loved the silhouette. Um, I liked the color, and I liked everything that was going on with this cover. It's simple, but it's very elegant and beautiful. The absolute king, and the best example I have, is this one, Feathers. So Feathers, the spine is really cool. We've got the, the text, the big text on the side, and then we've got little details inside of the big letters. And we've got this big, beautiful silhouette of a feather. Oh my god, I just, I'm absolutely, this is one of my favorite colors. It's just covers. It's just so simple and elegant. I'm not gonna lie, I got entirely interested in this book based on the cover. Another thing I tend to go for is just kind of pretty girls on covers. I know that's kind of lame, but I, I do like those kind of covers. Um, here's an example, Wither. So, she's, her styling is all, I don't, I don't really care for her hair and the bushiness there, but what I like about this cover is I like the, the elements with, I like how the, the text is and the box, and it's got kind of this, I don't know, like sci-fi, modernistic feeling, but the picture of her, she looks really just simple and pl um, she, she's wearing like a nice outfit here, but she's more simple and... She doesn't really fit the theme of the lettering, but it, it just works so incredibly well. I really like it. Um, I haven't read this one yet, so the next book, I hate the color that they chose for the text. Oh my god, no. So, A, tr a Great and Tale Terrible Beauty. This is specifically the hardcover edition. It's got another element I love, which is deckled edges. I'm very obsessed with deckled edges. They really get me like... Um, so we've got that element going on, and it's just a simple picture of a girl, and she's a pretty girl, and it's her back, but there's something about the composition of it with the way the text is working, the way that she looks, I don't know, there's something about it I just really like, and I don't get the same feeling from the paperback version, there's just, it's just very elegant, I like how this book looks. Poison Study and Magic Study by Marie V. Snyder have some elements I really like. We've got Yelena, the heroine. Um, you know, it's we've got the pretty girl thing, but we also have, like, the leaves branching out. They're also a little shiny. I like that a lot about it. Um, the same kind of deal is going on with Magic Study, which I really, I just really like the looks of these books. And then, th and then they never redid the cover f for... Fire Study, I don't know why they would do the first two and not the last one, because I know that the covers used to have this style. This style's fine, it's actually kind of pretty too, I'm, I'm, I'm not, like, I don't dislike it, but compared to the other two, it doesn't match, and I think the other two are in fact prettier. I'm also rather into Stars in Space, so for that we've got, of course, Across the Universe and A Million Suns, but A Mi Million Suns is the one I have right now, so this is just... I love stars and galaxies and the universe. It's very, very beautiful. And it just speaks for itself. And it's got it going through the spine and onto the back. I absolutely love it. Another example, 
for Darkness Shows the Stars. I thought this was just such a beautiful book because we've got the stars going on and it's a girl in a dress. It, you know, I, I don't know why I like the, the pretty girls in the dresses. I, I don't know why that's a particular interest. For me. I also am a fan of flowers. So another theme, you know, we've got Molika E. That one has some pretty flowers in it. I like the overall just um, composition of this one. The way everything's placed is rather pretty. And another one, the Peach Keeper. Again, I love flowers. And I just kind of like how we see the back of this girl's head and the ponytail. It's just very simple and very pretty. I really like it. I also like kind of flashy covers too. Um, this is a great example, Eon. We've got a lot going on with this one. We've got this amazing detail with the dragon and the colors are just gorgeous. It's kind of hard to tell with this lighting. And then we've got the cool kind of silhouette of Iona in the front here. It's really just got a great look to it and then we've got the side. Another one, Incarceron. This one has a lot of great detail to it. I love intricate detail. We've got a key and um, another thing, and this is really hard to get in my camera, but it's very shiny and holography, the key, and it's not catching it at all. It's very sparkly and pretty in person. Oh, I got it for a sec. There we go. See that? I love it. I love stuff like that. I This is like a very blingy book and I'm very attracted to that. We also have Vessel. This is just a beaut- oh god, this book is just so pretty. We've got, again, another pretty girl, but she's she's got a different look to her and I like the way the text is just sort of a darker, a darker shadowed section of the title. I love the look on the girl's face. She just looks so determined, strong, and brave. Very admirable. It's just very, very nice. It, that's what it looks like going around. Oh, beautiful. And then the last two books I'm going to show you, they don't have any particular theme they fall into. I just find them attractive. Um, one of them would be State of Wonder by Ann Patchett. What I like about this book is how it has a very old-timey look and feel to it. It's got the deckled edges, and I don't know, just the way that the, the cover looks like it's perf purposely worn. And I really like the intricate details. I'm very into intricate details on the side here. And we've got, like, all kinds of creatures, and we've got the dragonfly. The text is, you know, we've got blue and then red up here. I don't know. It's just... I really, really like the look of this book. Um, the paperback isn't bad looking either, but I'm really glad I have the hardcover regardless. I think it's better looking. And then my last book to show you, Every Day by David Levithan. It's hard for me to describe why I like this cover so much. I don't know. There's just something about it that really works for me. I think it's, I like the text, the way the text is working here. I like the clouds. I like the the position of the bodies of the people here. I can't tell you exactly why I love it so much. I just do. It's it's a good looking cover. Anyway, that's a little idea of what I'm into and what I like about book covers and I'm always curious what other people like and it's always interesting seeing other people's tastes because I don't always agree with other people. I'm like, eh. That's what's great. I mean, I have a love obviously for simple silhouettes and yet complicated like shiny stuff too. You know, we all have different tastes. Anyway, I hope you're all doing well. Bye!